Hello team, welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map. It looks like all the players in the game are looking to take the left side of the map, or pardon me, the right side of the map. But on the left side, Bravo team is going to set up. There's two cities over on the left-hand side. There's actually a trade route in the north that connects the left landmass to the right one. A bunch of trade routes in the south here. There are three in total. On Alpha Team, Athena in blue, Webo in red, someone said that my nickname sucks, in orange. This team, Alpha Team, spawning on the right-hand side, Athena, of course, in blue in the south. Nickname going for the quick town and port. And Webo in the north, going for a dock, quick town and port, and a submarine pen. On the left-hand side, we have Bravo Team. Bravo Team is Yan in the green in the north here maybe jan i'm not sure i might be saying the name wrong and i apologize god of cream and teal going for three sub pens and then in the south totally nubular he was going for two industry a town right off the bat with the pre-construction money god of cream going for this refinery to, to power these three submarine pens and in the north submarine pen refinery town and two industries so far for yan so because of the amount of water between the two teams, it's probably going to be a relatively slow buildup in this game. Two docks for Nickname, who's starting to get this town set up, which is, of course, a trade route with this southernmost town that Athena will likely cap relatively quick. Here comes these infantry to do exactly that. Athena's also got a town and a port on the way with a transport boat out of this dock, two industry behind it. It would seem as though the Alpha team on the right-hand side here is going to be able to get more economy if they're able to set up these trade routes. Because landmass-wise, it's relatively similar for both teams and what they can get. But we'll have to see. I mean, there are a lot of cities on the left-hand side. There's one in the north and then two, of course, in the south. We see totally nubular in the south going for an airport at this point. And there's four, four cities on the right-hand side. So I actually think this is going to be up to Bravo team to, to stop these trade routes and then successfully land on this right-hand side of the map, which will be tough. Especially if Alpha team here can, can get enough boats to defend the coast. There's an airport on the way for Webo, who also has a factory dropped at this point. First transport boat is making its way to this this leftmost landmass. This this big peninsula is connected, of course. Depot for God of Cream. We're likely about to see a pipeline connect this refinery to this depot to start saving some of that energy. And two barracks beside the airport, turning this city into a town. So totally new really is going to have a bunch of economy. And this almost makes me want to think that it would be commando drops, but I don't think that would really make sense. So I'm interested to see what sort of plane is going to come out of that airport. There's the pipeline we're talking about. So that God of Cream can start saving up the gas. The city in the north for Yan. So Bravity is doing a great job to get these, these quick cities up and going. Power plant for Nickname. Which will help run these boats. And the first refinery now for Webo going down. There's another energy well here that Nickname can get. It's going to be very important for both teams that, to see the, how they use their energy because navies do take a lot of gas, especially when these big boats come out, these cruisers, which are the best pound for pound unit to be using when it comes down to like naval engagements, but they do take up a lot of energy. The landing in the north from Webo is successful, so Red's taken this territory and could start building production here if they wanted to. The factory from Yan is in a great spot right behind these mountains, so these infantry would have to either go through this mountain range, which they'll be much slower, or go around it. And let's see if Alpha Team can get stuck in on this, this spot and really get a foothold on Bravo Team's landmass. First subs out for Webo. There's, at this point, a ton of submarines for God of Cream, who's sending them down to cut off this, like, lane, probably get some intel. 
some scouting done. This is exactly what Nicknames Destroyer is doing. It's just prowling the coast and will very shortly discover these three submarine pens. Destroyers being the best unit in the water to attack the subs and take on the subs, but in a 2v1 situation, I'm not actually sure if the destroyer will win this. It will certainly be able to spot these submarine pens because it's on a move command, so it will... Okay, well, at this point, Nickname's going to start microing it. There goes the depth charges from the destroyer, and Nickname still wants to get the scout off. That's the more important thing. And Nickname will see that sub pen. More industry for Totally Nubular, who does actually have transport planes. Two of them done now. Commandos right beside the airport. And this is full scout. I mean, we can see Athena's vision, which is, of course, Nickname's vision because of the, you know, their teammates. So the sub pens are discovered. Two barracks going down for Webo. This will become an important part of the, the game to see if these two barracks can actually get up in time. There's not... There's no boats supporting this for Webo, so unfortunately if these infantry do get rid of the rest of the red infantry, they might be able to kill a barracks, potentially two. First artillery piece is out for Yan in the top, and this cruiser at the end of its patrol, it's, it's scouting, is just attacking the submarine pen. And Nickname might be able to actually kill that, you can see the target command going down. City on the way for Nickname, still no town in the bottom. Here comes this transport boat for Athena that was attacked by these subs, because this is a sub of, of God of Cream on Bravo team. I suspect. It's hard to tell wh whose team subs are on, but yeah, this is definitely God of Cream sub. This destroyer is sending out the death charges. More industry on the way for a nickname. Both teams ramping up the economic production so these four infantry do get away they kill one of the barracks they might be able to kill more unless this cruiser shows up at the coast to support it but it would have to take on these three submarines helicopters now for webo great support afina is out of gas that's what the beep beep we hear is nickname's got a refinery and a powerpoint or powerpoint power plant hooked up to a depot to start collecting that energy First gas now for Athena in the south and an airport on the way. Nickname doesn't end up destroying that submarine pen, heavily damages it. Which does do something, I mean, the amount of cost it takes for Bravo Team to repair that structure is something to note. The submarines here for God of Cream are attacking these transport boats. They do get one of them with the helicopter and now the cruiser in range and some more subs for Webo showing up. These subs for Godly Cream are definitely going to go down. This infantry goes flying absolutely wild. And this Navy for Nickname is starting to get a relatively scary. If Phoenix Force submarines take out God of Cream's sub that's there. And at any point now, we can probably expect Blue's infantry to start going across this, this pass. Nickname's got some navy down in the south to help that if if the landing does go down helicopters are in perfect range to support this and once this is totally capped this one territory the helicopters can actually land here the next hurdle for alpha team and webo is to be able to push deeper into this mountain range which will be very difficult given that there's two factories and a barracks if some of the Navy for Alpha Team went around the top, they could probably destroy one of these barracks. I don't think that they could move through this part of the map. This is shallow water here. But potentially could. These submarines are doing a great job to disrupt supply, like this this reinforcement, this transport ship. I barely even know whose subs are whose. I think these are God of Creams, and then these ones are Webos. So slowly over time, Alpha Team is going to be able to clean that up. Here come the first landing of boats, two destroyers to make sure that no submarines can start sniping this transport boat. Good awareness, good teamwork, two more power plants on the way for Athena, who is now connected to the energy grid of Alpha Team. If, they, if they're sharing energy, that could be happening. We can actually check, so nothing yet. Another dock for Nickname that gets three docks total town and more industry on the way 
And a helicopter is inland at this point. It's taking on a SAM. The SAM is going to win, especially with the second one coming in to support it. As you can imagine, helicopters aren't the best in a, a 1v1 fight against a SAM unit. And all these pipelines connected. Poor Bravo team. These infantry are going to have a tough time. With with how much how many units are here, an airstrip for totally nubular. This could be for like the transport jets might be able to land here, and then all the commandos could commando drop onto the landmass of Alpha Team. Athena setting up this trade route in the bottom. The town is here. Once this crane is done, presumably Athena is going to put put down a a port so that it could start trading with nicknames port and it's quite a large navy now for alpha team who are landing in two different direct two different positions pardon me athena in the south here taking on all these commandos of totally nubular and some infantry from god of cream and then nickname t landing right here in the north on this little i don't even know what to call it. i gotta get better at geography terms this little thing that you know this landmass right here you can see what's happening this is what's happening the nickname's digging in here probably going to try to get a building behind this defensive line good reaction from totally nubular to run up there and try to attack these infantry before they get totally entrenched the boats this is a perfect position for these boats to show up and start attacking this this pink infantry and with cruisers, I mean, this is going to be very effective. Some of the cruisers are going to go to the north probably to try to help out these defensive, like these entrenched infantry. Let's see what's going on in the north. Webo is out of gas with the two factories coming fully online now for Yan. The the heavy units, like the factory units, the it should be in Jan Yan's favor over time. There's three artillery right here at this point. There are three for Webo. But it'll be close. It's really, it's three production facilities against three. But I think with the little bit of a advantage that Yan has on where the units are, that's probably going to go okay. There's a lot going on in this game. Boats here. Athena's now got dug in. This position is going to stand for nickname. Although this one artillery piece is shelling these infantry. And still naval supremacy, which is so important on a map like this, belongs to Alpha Team. Very exposed refinery for God of Cream in the middle of the ocean, but I, I like the play. Energy being so important. And maybe with some reinforcements, Webb was running into energy problems to get the reinforcements landed. But this might be held, depending on if the helicopters can get involved. But there are four sands for Yan, so that'll be enough that if the helicopters move inland at all, they will be destroyed. Two docks for green, and actually four docks for green on this northern peninsula. Good garrison of commandos at this city to make sure that it doesn't get dropped somehow. And slowly this one factory on the right for Webo is likely going to go down. In the south, let's see what's happening. So it is four transport planes for totally nubular in, in the front, and they are definitely within range of this town. The port is going up now for Athena. There, this airstrip is actually in range of these airports as well, so commandos could drop on this or the gas. When this trade route goes up for Athena, this will be a lot of income for Alpha Team because it actually gets all three trade routes. Right, this one's connected, and now finally, nickname and Athena's trade routes are connected. This guy's definitely not going to stay alive. I mean, maybe the cruiser for God of Cream is going to do well against these boats, but it, before it shows up, yeah, exactly, the gas is going to go down. Webb is still holding on here. And with two transport boats full of units and factory units at that, with a good reinforcement stream... Webbo might be able to do a bunch of damage here. First boats are out for Yan. They're going to be able to intercept these transport boats. I believe these are actually God of Cream subs. And they're actually not. They're Webbos, since they're not attacking that thing. God of Cream kills the Navy and then rebuilds this refinery immediately. So many subs for Athena. 
which is kind of fitting that as I say so many subs to Rafina we hear the the low gas noise and I'm not sure why this trade route isn't connected between Athena and nickname you can see that this one is actually glowing so it indicates that merchant ships are being built helicopters now for nubular which are great and will do a bunch of damage until the SAMs pop or these missile boats for Athena get in range. Helicopter against missile boats, if we thought that helicopters didn't do well against SAMs, they do even worse against missile boats. Another factory and another barracks for Webo in the north. Webo definitely wants to make a play out of this. And it could be good as long as this distracts Yan and, and kind of buys a bunch of time. If Webo's teammates in the south here are able to establish themselves, could work out. This is a great commando drop. Five planes worth of commandos, so it's going to be ten commandos that are going to skirt the bottom of the map. There's no way that Athena would know about this. Unless maybe, can we see... Yeah, so Athena actually can see this on the very bottom of the screen. It's super janky because it's actually at like the very bottom. These units are hasted. So the transport boats or transport planes are going to get here pretty quick and 10 commandos are going to show up very close to this town. The merchant ship for nickname is actually going so this this trade route actually must be up. And God of Cream's going for a push. It's God of Cream's going to run into a relatively large navy of nickname and then a gazillion subs from Athena. And still a huge fight here. These subs for God of Cream are coming in handy. Or they might even be Yan subs. It's hard to tell. There's no way to... It's it's difficult to determine whose subs are whose. And But either way, Bravo Team, great job with these subs that killed one of the transport boats. So there's only one left. And every transport boat that goes down for Red means that... Red either has to cancel, like, a, a naval boat that could do fighting in favor of a transport boat. Or just not be able to reinforce this position, which isn't good as well. F third factory now for Webo, who's starting to turn this a little bit. I'm actually kind of surprised and impressed that this is working as well as it looks like it is. Huge naval fight, but with all of Athena's submarines, they're going to wipe this navy alongside Nickname. Okay, so these tr too much going on. These 10 commandos kill one airport. They're going to get the second one. They might even get this gas. They likely will. All of these bombers are going to go down. So those two couldn't even get lifted off the ground. That's a huge problem now for Athena, who's lost a lot of investment in those planes. Three barracks going down since this is such a problem and going to presumably be a problem. Because Nubular can just keep doing this. Dropping. Commando's sprinting towards this barracks. If Nubular can destroy these barracks before they're able to start pumping out commandos. All these power plants could go down. Athena's rebuilding this airport in the back. And here come the planes. So Yan's got some strikers with four Sams in the forest. They're going to trade relatively well against these strikers. One already goes down, a second one falls now. Great boat action from Yan in the north. There's actually submarines up here. This is what these, these cruisers are shooting at. Or it's likely actually just that infantry that it's shooting at. Still a gas problem for Yan who's desperately trying to get this refinery up. But it's in a relatively exposed location. These two factories from Athena are going to come in clutch. Because slowly Athena is going to be able to build up a bunch of units here and then just start pushing. There's no backdooring anywhere. These commandos are still on the loose. They destroy one of the power plants and one of the barracks. Nubular is going for a barracks on Athena's part of the map. And here come Nickname's bombers to try to help out with this. That bomber does snipe one of the commandos. Huge fight. 
But with the helicopter support, Webb was able to keep that refinery alive, which is a huge deal. Athena and Nickname are going to be able to destroy that refinery in the middle of the map again. These boats are just attacking these reinforcements from pink. Which is great. Buy some time. And a second barracks now for Nubular, who's going to destroy this town. And when this town falls, the port will explode as well. Meaning that all of this income generated from these trade routes is going to stop. So this is a relatively big deal. Nickname's good reaction speed to send the three destroyers back to maybe defend this. But here comes this next wave of transport jets. There's not enough commandos to be taking off, like, more than one plane. But here come two more as reinforcements. And here comes a push from God of Cream into the, the bay of, of Alpha Team. Yan's got a cruiser here. It's going to probably take out this refinery before the helicopters can actually get to it, but it is six helicopters, so the DPS is going to be quite wild. Cruiser destroys that refinery and then immediately gets taken out. So good play from Bravo team. But this is looking really good for Webo, who destroys the two bear, uh, two, pardon me, the two docks of Yan, who runs into submarines and a cruiser. Yeah, although these boats are out of gas for red, they're definitely enough of them to destroy one missile boat. A rocket, like a launch pad rather, for Yan on the way. It's a lot of units though, so maybe with all this fodder all these commandos showing up which i think have been pulled from the city which they have because this is becoming a big problem if if webo can destroy all of yan's buildings here it's a huge foothold nickname's got quite the navy backing off a little bit because they don't want to throw away all these boats for no reason afina has got a ton of subs they're going to destroy that refinery and in the south it's I mean, it's going to be time relatively soon for Athena to start pushing, potentially. So much production from Nuclear, who's also got a port here. At this point, both teams have built all the economy that they possibly can. City here for nickname. I suppose this could be a city for Webo at some point in the north. And this navy from Webo does get taken out. Barracks for... Nubler falls. So Fina's getting this back under control. These four commandos could get super shifty though. Nicknames boats linking up with Athena submarines that are gonna start pushing these docks. Here come all these infantry. So this is the the point where Yan can actually start pushing back. Potentially, it just depends on how well this fight goes. And a lot of this red artillery needs to be cleaned up. Because if there's enough of a blob of it, it's it's hard to deal with a blob of artillery without having planes. And a lot of planes. So what a fight in the north. Athena's out of the gas, but these subs are already on top of the docks. Here comes some strikers. But with... I mean, even just one missile boat against one striker is going to be okay. Athena's still struggling with that gas, though. Nubular's got a bunch of helicopters. I'm totally wrong that it's almost time for Athena to push with all this pink artillery showing up. It's a good push from Nubular there. And let's see what these commandos are doing. So they're still in the back. There's no way Athena sees this. As you can see, we're toggling Athena's vision on and off. So let's see if Nubular can get anything done with those. Still a very good push relatively close one of the dogs goes down for yen the second one likely will as well this is a mix of webo's submarines against nicknames navy as you can see like with athena's vision i guess all these subs are detected because of just the number of units and submarines that athena has swarm of helicopters deal with a handful of boats more commando drops and let's see what these commandos do. I'm super interested. Nicknames rebuilt this refinery that was originally lost from Athena. Of course, the town and port 
did fall. So that's a lot of income that Alpha Team is not able to get. And Nickname's starting to get bold and drop commandos closer to the production from Nubular, who's got a second city on the way. And a. No, this is a power plant. And just a power plant. I thought it was a launch pad for a second. A lot of submarines. Looks like El Bravo Team is going to be able to clear this up over time. It's now three factories and three barracks against two factories, two barracks with a third barracks on, or third factory, pardon me, on the way. I really like this play from Yan to add more factories in the north. A bunch of units here, though. This is a good reinforcement from Webo. And with these four subs defending this, Webo's going to be able to continue to pile more reinforcements onto the landmass. Nubular has destroyed Athena's position here. It destroys both of the factories. And these commandos are going even further, which I really like from Nubular. I mean, th these commandos could go as far north as they wanted to. But let's see if the idea from Pink is to cap there or to try to move the commandos around and, and snipe more structures. God of Cream and Yan both sending units up to the north but there's so many artillery now for webo i don't think there's a rocket on the way and nickname is going to be able to intercept all these strikers and potentially just park boats out here never mind this these are some some of god of cream subs or yan subs who knows what it is so it's going to be like five subs maybe a few more against all these boats Nickname's going to snipe that refinery, which is a huge deal. And these these commandos for Nickname in the south did get cleaned up. A dock on the way for Nubular. Likely the idea is to go across here. Athena and Nickname have a bunch of boats in the south, though. If they figure that a dock is going down quickly, they might be able to destroy it before it even builds a single boat. Submarines against destroyers and missile boats. It's enough destroyers that they're going to be able to kill these submarines. The question is whether they're going to be able to deal with the heat, the cruiser showing up. That's a pretty wide front from Red. The rocket is ready for Yan, and the question is where is this going to go? It's, it might be a, a, a min-range rocket that's just going to land right here, and this is going to change the complexion of like what's going on in the north. Alright, so that rocket destroys one factory, one barracks, or something like that, so it doesn't kill any of this artillery, though, and this is still a large blob that is very slowly going to be able to make its way through the mountain and then start attacking all of this production from Yan. Nickname now with naval supremacy is attacking the coast, destroying these submarine pens, which is going to mean that God of Cream has to really pay attention to how these boats are being used and since it's going to be the only navy really for bravo team is what god of cream has dock is ready it's going to start building a transport boat and this is exactly what we're seeing nubular is going to go across a barracks is capped rather pardon me this territory was capped by nubular and nubular is put down a barracks. Athena can't see it. This means that Alpha Team can't see it in general, so this is very sneaky. These four commandos might be able to take out that city. But what's more important is that it remains to be seen if there's an answer for how many artillery there are in the north. Huge naval battle, so God of Cream pushing back, slowly, reclaiming this coastline. It's a the refinery still exists. Relatively close game still. Nickname's trying to get this drop going, which is going to at least disrupt these reinforcements. There's enough commandos here that they'll be able to land or like load up into those transport boats. And Athena's starting to build that city or this town again to get the trade going, which is a very big deal. Four commandos here are going to go for the power plants. And you can see that with all these power plants, Nickname's still relatively low on gas just because of the number of boats. 
that are moving. God of Cream running into these submarines, so there's no way that God of Cream can actually see these boats. Maybe with these subs showing up, the detection is going to trigger. And three transport boats now, with a fourth on the way for Webbo that will be able to clear this backlog of, of units that are waiting to go across. It's such an enormous amount of artillery. This launch pad was actually destroyed by Yan themselves. There was C4 on it. And Yan would do that to try to get the... Instead of spending upkeep on keeping that launch pad around, if you destroy it, you don't have to spend the upkeep on it, so of course you get more money that you can use. These two barracks are in such a sneaky position. One of the power plants goes down. This one will as well. Because we can see there's... This commando is spotted because of the how many buildings are around, and... This one is only coming into view now. The second one is still invisible. Buildings do detect a little bit. Nicknames Navy is defending Webbo's gas here. Somehow God of Cream has a cruiser in this transport boat line, which is huge for Bravo team, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough because Nicknames Navy is going to start destroying this cruiser. And these helicopters for for Webbo have just done a great job. They're looping around the top to d avoid all those SAMs that were in the south. And at this point, Webbo has control of this mountain. Good defense of that landing by Nubular, who now has three transport boats. Helicopters for Athena. There's actually no SAMs that are really in position here. But the helicopters are going to attack the artillery instead of the boats first. And instead of the, the dock, rather. Six total factories on the way for Yan. Still an open question as to whether this will be enough. Certainly if Nickname and Athena were able to destroy this navy and then get it close to the coast, they'd be able to destroy probably this barracks, two of these factories, and that gas. Another rocket in the back for Yan. I like this. It's it's quite close to the water, so it could get spotted, and then the boats would be able to kill it. But as for where it could launch, I mean, this rocket would be great to just drop right here if this position does get overrun and Alpha Team keeps pushing. Here comes the Navy from Athena and Nickname to try to destroy this dock. These four transport boats are now just trapped here. But if they stay close enough to the coast, they might be fine. I mean, it's a lot of artillery that's firing away at all these boats. And just by sheer numbers, Athena and Nickname are going to destroy this dock, but lose a handful of boats in the process. There goes one. If the boats stick around, a few more of them will die. One cruiser goes down. And whose subs are these? This is a huge question. No, these are Webbo's subs. So this is Alpha Team's subs. So Alpha Team has figured out the control here. I guess some of these subs are fighting, but it's not. it doesn't really matter. I mean, Webbo's got enough. Unless I still can't tell whose subs are whose, and this is actually all God of Cream, but no, this is all Webbo. Webbo's subs, there's four of them left. Nickname destroys this submarine pen, and they do see this launch pad, and those boats are enough to destroy it. This will be the beginning of the end in the north. If these artillery destroy all of these factories, and they don't get rocketed, because there's really not that much production behind here. Nickname's got two commandos in the back in the top left. I have no idea how that happened. Where those commandos came from. Big commando drop right on this town. I love this play from Nubular. To destroy this trade route again. Which is a great play. Because it immediately stops all these merchant ships from generating money for, for Alpha Team. Where are these commandos still going? So, Athena's sending down some interceptors. They spot it at this point. They see the two barracks, so those will get cleaned up relatively quickly. A bunch of these power plants are on fire for Nickname, but unfortunately for Bravo Team, none of them actually fall. 
Well, they, one of them fell. We know that from before. Launch pad on the way. For Athena, and this is a great positioning of these Sams from Nickname to deal with those those drops again. If those plan, I mean, it was a great play from Yen to send the planes to the north and avoid those Sams. Three commandos destroying this airport, and two more barracks for Yan, who has four commandos loose in the north. Still an enormous mass of artillery for Webo. God of Cream looks to be dealing with some gas issues, some energy issues. And a bunch of barracks for Athena. I'm not sure where these would be. Maybe in the south here? Yeah, okay, so a factory and three barracks, because Athena st still is dealing with all these, these commandos. And we saw a plane explode there because it had nowhere to land. When those pink commandos destroyed the airport. This is an enormous blob. Two factories. This is a great place for this rocket. It's not too close to the shore, so it can't get attacked again. Good defensive line from God of Cream here in front of defending Yan City. Yan putting down more factories. I like that play. It's really the only chance. It, digging in at this choke is, is a good call from Bravo team. And these commandos are going to become a huge pain. There's four barracks. There's no way Bravo team knows about this. Both teams have done a good job to kind of fight over this one oil well. Because God of Cream is going to shut this down and destroy Athena's oil again. And here come these 10 commandos, the five transport planes carrying two each. Looping down to the south and landing again. Rocket for Athena is a third of the way done. These commandos for Pink are just everywhere. Attacking this depot, attacking... The industry, a factory now also going down for Yan and this proxy, or pardon me, for, for totally nubular in the proxy base on the far right side of the map. Let's see if this rocket can be built in time. And if totally nubular can find a way to start transporting this, like this enormous mass of units across. But with how many boats Athena has, it'll be very difficult to do that. This depot will go down for Athena, so Athena will be low on gas. We're probably about to see a bunch of this energy disappear. So it was at 62 and it goes to zero. So Athena's got no gas, so none of these boats can move. If there's a time for Nubular to go across, it's likely right now, since these boats will have a tough time moving to the south to intercept them. It's so many infantry for Athena that are cleaning up all these pink commandos. And bombers for nickname. It's one of the best uses for bombers is just this situation where there's no Sams, they're just picking away at buildings. And the, the red mass of artillery in the north still going the rocket is one third of the way done it'll be relatively tight there's a good amount of helicopters from webo a handful of sams for bravo team helicopters really coming in clutch destroying a bunch of this artillery another factory for yan two more factories for yan even just getting in the way of this army and protecting this rocket for a little bit longer that could be worth it So the commandos from Nickname on the far left, off of those five barracks, are now starting to go on the prowl. That could turn into a huge problem. The commandos for Pink have been cleared in the north. This is really the, the last remnants of the commandos that Totally Nubular has on Alpha Team's side of the map. Here come these transfer boats. This is a moment of truth. If, if all these units could magically just show up here and not get rocketed, Athena is done with the rocket, then this game could look a lot different. But if this rocket destroys all these units, that would be catastrophic. Nickname's got these three commandos from the top left. That's, some of them have been sent over here to destroy this rocket. What a play. I didn't even consider this. And Athena still needs gas to launch this rocket. You need 20 energy to, to launch a rocket, so that thing's not going to move anytime soon. 
can this one helicopter destroy this launch pad? It's not using its rockets. Okay, now it is. This is close. Two Sams. And the rocket's almost done, so this rocket is likely gonna launch. So many commandos, that could be a huge problem. Big fight between all the navies. Athena's boat's still out of gas, as we can see in the top right. And there's even tanks mixed in here with Webo. So it's really close. I want to see if that rocket goes. And what it does. Athena's now moved these boats into position, and now this is really tough for Nubular, because this is totally blocked off. I don't think these transport boats could go this way. They'd have to go around the north of this little island, I guess is what we'll call it. Great play from Nubular. Who might destroy this city. And I missed it. <laughs> so many things going on. And in the back of my head, I'm like, we're supposed to be looking somewhere else on the map. because Something's about to happen. And it was this rocket. Which it definitely launched because there are not nearly as many red artillery. But it, I don't think it's going to quite be enough. This is going to crumble. Okay. And then just an enormous drop in coordination with all these transport boats from Nickname. And that's it. What a game. Missed, missed the last rocket, but what a game. Let's check out some graphs. Love the graphs. Yeah, so Alpha Team's in the uh, like ahead on the money. But it, relatively close. And there you go. Empire values. Well played, folks. Props to Nickname who posted this replay in the... I think it's now called, like, Videos or something. Or no, Replays channel in Discord? I don't know. They were renamed recently. Check out the Discord if you want to learn more about the game. Ask questions. Chat in general. Folks, have a wonderful day, evening, night. Whatever it is, we'll see you soon. Peace.